Arthroscopic Frozen Shoulder Release by Michael Bach and Randy Clark The patient is a 48-year-old male with severe shoulder pain, decreased range of motion, and night pain. He's failed conservative management and was indicated for manipulation under anesthesia and an arthroscopic removal of scar tissue. Uh, Dr. Bach, we're just getting started with your shoulder surgery. Now, when you were asleep, you had a lot of stiffness, so almost, uh, again, like frozen shoulder here. Uh, you had, I would, I would say, less than 50% of what you had on the other side, but once what we did the manipulation, we kind of gently moved the shoulder around, we really broke up the adhesions, and we got full range of motion. Now we place the camera into the shoulder and look. One of the major things you see is that this shoulder is very synovitic. You can see all this redness right here, so it's been irritated a good bit. We'll take a picture of that just to show you. Uh, if we just rub your uh, tissues, it, you can see all the blanching of the blood vessels, so it's very hyperemic. We do have the rent in the tissue from the manipulation. We're going to go ahead and remove some of this to cause a nice full release all the way around. Here is your uh, looking from the back of the shoulder. Look at all that red synovitis right there. I'll lift up on the head first, Tim. You can see a nice rent over there, though. So what we're going to do is start to release some of this capsule and then uh, explore the rest of the shoulder in just a second. So what we did earlier is manipulation. We're just trying to complete the capsular rent. We get all the, around, all the way around the shoulder, and I'm just being very careful to stay between capsule and muscle, and that looks like a plane there. From the back of the shoulder, we're just trying to march our way across here, try to complete this so that we can see that might have been it. Looks like we're kind of through now. So that looks like we completed the capsular inferior release. I'm just get way down here just to make sure. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so we'll take a step back just a little bit. Take the shaver. Look a little bit more to the right. You can see we're all the way through. Perfect. We'll take a picture of that. All right. So we did a posterior inferior release. You have to come through a little bit of the uh, middle glenohumeral ligament here. We're just going to walk along and continue to clean this up for you here. The patient had dramatic improvement in his pain, motion, and function. He was able to return to normal activities within two to three weeks. Thanks for your attention.